Stop asking me for shop videos. I was 19 years old when I started that. I am now 32 years old with gray hairs with a wife and a child of my own. Also, if you'd like to watch more gospel content, you're more than welcome to check out Gospel Producers and my good brother, Kel Bailey. They both have phenomenal gospel content for you all day, nonstop. Let's get into the video. That's honey. <laughs> all right, y'all, we seriously need to talk. So yeah, I've been MIA for a little while. A couple of good things happened. A couple of inconvenient things happened, starting with I got some new computers. So I recently got a Mac Studio for my new desktop now. It's an M1 Max. If you guys wanna know the specs, uh, I'll leave that below for you guys. And then I also have a new MacBook Pro 14 inch and that's also a M1 Max as well. With all this new change, I've been really looking deep within myself. I think the time has finally come for me to step out of my comfort zone and get back into this live thing and, and performing because uh, I've kind of been hiding in my shell of just being able to teach and I love to teach, but I'm also an artist and that's important. Uh, I love being a producer, but I want to be able to incorporate more musicianship to the channel. So with that said, there has been a migration and brace yourselves, your boy has migrated to Ableton. And as I mentioned earlier, the whole live performing aspect, Ableton just makes the most sense. So I tried it out. I invested and got a push two on sale. We're going to be talking a little bit about that more in a minute. But this has really changed the game for me because after trying this out and doing my own little sets here in the studio, everything changed for me. Like I looked at Ableton differently. I just had a crazy thought. Well, if I can perform, you know, in Ableton using the push, why not just create everything in Ableton so I can just migrate it over into Session View. I recorded some drums not too long ago and I found a really good app for you guys for Ableton users. Uh, it's the LK app and you need to launch the LK hub, which is the U-Bridge hub. I was able to control Ableton from my iPad to record my drums, which was crucial. Now, let me explain because this has happened before on my channel when I switched DAWs. The whole Studio One fiasco of me switching over there was due to me trying to produce gospel, R&B, country, hip hop, soul, every genre under the sun. And I really didn't have like a niche sound when I was trying to migrate over. So now since I've really niched down chill music, R&B and hip hop, and they're all kind of really intersecting each other, it makes a lot more sense for me to be in Ableton to niche down in this style of music, as well as, like I mentioned before, live performing and just my overall production skills has transformed over the last three years alone. I'm going to be doing a lot of Ableton content, so I'm going to leave a playlist of all of my Logic Pro content on my channel for you guys to check all that stuff out because I still believe that uh, those videos will serve people. But moving forward, uh, it's going to be a little bit more artist based, production based now. So I wasn't expecting this, but my Spotify has grown to 95,000 monthly listeners. So this whole artist thing is kind of transparent. We're at half a million streams on three songs. It's just a blessing to be able to bless listeners as well as people who are trying to learn production. And it's time to have a middle ground between my listeners and my learners in the community. And I use DistroKid once again to distribute my music to all streaming platforms. Spotify, Apple Music, IG, even TikTok for people to use my music in their TikTok and I get compensated when they use it because it counts as a stream, which is dope. So the stream numbers, guys, they're not just vanity metrics. This actually converts to real money. This is how I've been able to pay bills, move from the Bay Area of California to Atlanta and thank you to DistroKid for allowing me to get my music up and what's really dope is I did a cover 
uh, Everybody Loves the Sunshine. The original is by Roar Ayers. And I covered this tune. I replayed all the instruments myself. And from doing that, I was able to release this song as a cover. And I keep harping on this because being able to do covers has literally blessed me on social media. Every cover that I've done so far has gone viral. So major shout out to Digital Kid for allowing us to be able to do cover songs. So guys, you can get 7% off your first year's membership if you decide to sign up via Distro Kid. I think you should, so you should check out the link below in the description, guys, to get that 7% off. So with all of that said, I wanna be able to take this in a live setting. I wanna show you guys what I'm talking about. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert this from it being in the arrangement view to being uh, in the session view where we can actually perform this. So let me show you this real quick, it's kind of fire. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and highlight everything and then I'm just gonna drag everything over. So I'm gonna click and hold, hit tab and drag all of this over into the session view, boom. That's going to be the A section. So now I'm going to tab over here and then I'm going to drag all of these over once again for the B section. So I'm going to drag, hit tab to get up to the session view and boom, there is my B section. And so what we need to do for these files is we need to make these loop, highlight all of these tracks, and then we're going to warp all of these. And then we're going to warp these all to complex just so I can have everything locked how I want. And then we're going to turn the loop on for all of the clips. Okay, so now after setting everything up, now we have our first four bars. So we have this. We got our second four bars right here. Go back to our first four bars. So now that we got that, now we can start doing arrangements on the fly. So I'm gonna try to demonstrate this for you guys. So you guys kind of get the point of where I'm going with this. So it's going to be a lot of good stuff coming here, showing you guys how to live loop and just all kind of crazy stuff that's going to be going on. So, hey, y'all, I appreciate everyone who's been supporting so far. And if you did give value out of this video, don't hesitate to give your boy a thumbs up and all that stuff. And shout out to DistroKid once again for being such a phenomenal distributor and sponsor of this video. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.